In this video, I will give my own personal opinion, ideas and suggestions to anyone that may care to listen. I don't think for one minute that they will be enacted, and I dare say that this video will irritate some of the FreeBSD community members. But seeing as I have been using FreeBSD for 13 years and made over 420 FreeBSD related videos, I feel I've earned my two cents or two pence. FreeBSD is a great OS. It's used widespread in industry and as many large corporations use FreeBSD as a base for their products. But where does it stand as a desktop OS? Well, to be honest, it doesn't. Or at least that's the perception. The truth is that whatever you can do in Windows, Linux or MacOS, you can do in FreeBSD on the desktop too. Many of the tools, applications and facilities available for, say, Linux are available for FreeBSD, save for a few commercial applications. Here are some radical ideas that, if I had my way, would propel FreeBSD upwards into the stratosphere. It may seem a little out of this world, almost as if I've lost my marbles, but in the world we live in, if you have a product or a service to sell, then the best thing that you can do is to get a celebrity endorsement. The moment a famous face or name holds up your product, the moment its value reaches for the stars, pun intended. This is what FreeBSD needs. It needs to get its brand known to a wider audience, both to those in the IT tech industry and to the wider world. It could be a famous name in the world of IT, it's unlikely but it could happen, such as Linus Torvalds, Bill Gates, Larry Ellison or IBM's Arvin Krishna. If any of them suddenly picked up FreeBSD and installed its virtues, then others in charge of IT departments, projects and business leaders would take note. After all, if it's good enough for the boss of Oracle and IBM, then it's going to be good enough for Joe Bloggs IT services. More preferably, it would be a celebrity in the public sphere, such as Tom Hanks, Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Dwayne Johnson or Beyonce, giving a smile whilst greeting the FreeBSD Foundation or the FreeBSD Project leaders. A picture of one of them set out a computer with a FreeBSD desktop and logo in the background, like we used to get in the computer magazines of yesteryear with the then-current media celebrities. Such endorsements really work. So why do you think manufacturers spend so much on snaring either a, an established star or an up-and-coming name to sell their product? The cost would depend on the person chosen, of course, but it would need to be someone well-known. FreeBSD gets plenty of coverage in the media. Well, it used to before Linux stole its thunder. As a great server. The go-to, as it were, for the data center. It also gets coverage from the use by Sony, Nintendo, Netflix, etc. But it doesn't get its coverage of its use as a desktop OS. What's missing in the media is a coverage of it as a desktop OS and articles on how the Linux alternative can bring benefits to the brave souls who install it. Articles, either a review or a paid-for advertorial in some of the mainstream publications would go a long way to bring it into the fore, along with the celebrity endorsement mentioned earlier. Wired, the Daily Mail, Washington Post, the Wall Street Journal, the Financial Times, something like a short piece would do the trick. After all, they have covered less deserved topics, so why not? Before you point out that FreeBSD is covered already in tech-related media, let me say that the readership of these specialist publications are possibly already aware of FreeBSD as a server OS and possibly as a viable desktop OS. It's the wider audience we're after, a wider pool to catch the fish in. The FreeBSD Foundation has the pulling power, the resources and the experience in helping getting FreeBSD to where it is today in technical terms by sponsoring various high-level projects for the FreeBSD project team and I think it can help in the marketing strategy too. GhostBSD and NomadBSD are two mature, desktop-orientated derivatives of FreeBSD. They are smaller than FreeBSD in terms of sponsorship and developer numbers, but they have carved their names in the minds of people who want a desktop FreeBSD with less resources. How have they done this? Well, they have a ready-to-go, out-of-the-box desktop OS there, something I think FreeBSD needs. It could be an official release akin to GhostBSD, say FreeBSD Workstation Edition, 
or something via the installer that lets you choose, either a server install or a desktop, but which either way, the old way of leaving it to the user to install a desktop and just pretending things will be okay has to change. Maybe a dedicated division within the FreeBSD project or the FreeBSD Foundation, tasked with a public-facing desktop user, could be a thing. The tools are already there. There's a desktop installer script in the ports package tree. Maybe fork it, brand it, and link it as part of the installer. Having this ability will be a huge lift and a huge shift for FreeBSD, and a move that would say that they are still a server-facing OS, but there are also a desktop workstation one too. If you think this is pure fiction, you have to remember that the now defunct TrueOS had this option, and it worked very well indeed. A slogan is a phrase, a word, or a sentence that succinctly captures your business's philosophy, identity, or plan. Slogans help people understand what a company stands for and what they are striving to achieve. It clarifies your vision to potential clients and can promote your brand's identity. An effective slogan is simple, it's memorable, and clearly articulates your company's offerings. Many benefits come from having a slogan. It can attract new clients, it can raise your brand's profile and develop your presence on social media. The motto is an excellent advertising tool when placed alongside your logo and other aspects of your brand. A good slogan will connect you with your audience and leave a positive impression in their mind. There is a slogan, of course, already for FreeBSD, and it's FreeBSD, the power to serve. And whilst that's fine if you are just after the server side, if you want to broaden the scope, then a new message needs to be thought up and adopted by the relevant people. The message needs to be to the point, exciting, appealing to the masses, it needs to be something that gives possible new users the perfect reasons why they should be using FreeBSD. A good example is Debian's Debian Universal Operating System, which captures its multi-use perfectly. FreeBSD needs to strike a deal with the big box stores to get products on shelves, or even better, a company like System76 to start selling one or two products on Amazon.com with FreeBSD already installed, with a desktop ready to go. That might sound like pie in the sky, but given how many people look at Amazon as their go-to means of shopping, it certainly wouldn't hurt if FreeBSD had a presence there. And if they started searching for hardware and FreeBSD popped up, that'd be even better. The FreeBSD Foundation and the FreeBSD Project need to try avenues that might never have been open or considered before, namely approaching collaboration with either hardware manufacturers or other operating system creators. These type of deals could make a big difference in spreading the word to the wider world. Recently, on Twitter, yes, I know, but it's a useful way to keep in touch with other FreeBSD members, I was in a discussion with a prominent company in the FreeBSD community regarding how the FreeBSD developers at the top and members of the project and foundation should be seen to be using FreeBSD as part of their development process. It's known that they predominantly use Macs and sometimes Windows, and whilst it's okay to use what OS you need to get the job done, it isn't a good look if even the devs aren't eating their own dog food. How can I answer a comment when someone asks, why should I use FreeBSD when those who oversee it don't? A fair question. And one that was met with a terse and I thought rather dismissive reply that I should concentrate less on the optics and highlight the effort. Effort is important, of course. And whilst you can say that I should concentrate on the effort, the fact is that optics in this world of social media, if you can't cultivate the right image, it doesn't matter how good your product is. If you cannot project it in a way that's positive, such as your devs using the OS they champion, then people will question the validity of it. I run a YouTube channel advocating FreeBSD. I love using it, and I use it 100% of the time for all my computing needs. How could I do what I do if I knew I was deceiving the audience I was advocating to? It's this perceived integrity that matters. It's this disconnect between the devs and those who promote it and want to use FreeBSD that needs fixing. A public relations representative or a PR exercise that can bridge the gap. Anything but not the status quo. 
Today's IT world is constantly evolving. So when the traditional methods fail, you must think beyond the norm and out of your comfort zone. Given how FreeBSD on the desktop continues to struggle to get any recognition, and in the service space it's increasingly becoming a monoculture with Linux edging out FreeBSD, just need to see the Netcraft top 10 hosts for that, it's time the powers that be understand that if they really want to grow their user base beyond those who already support and use FreeBSD, they're going to have to significantly raise the bar on their thinking and try different things. Otherwise, the choir will continue singing FreeBSD's praise to themselves, all the while wondering why the audience never grows, whilst looking at alternatives expand into previous FreeBSD territory.